All right. This is my favorite growing up though, the prairie dogs. I want to pet something today. Hi guys, Allie and David here with Duluth.com and today we're at the Lake Superior Zoo. What do you like at the zoo? Uh, just how close you can get to some of the animals. Mm -hmm. The lemurs are cool and some of the smaller primates are cool yeah. to see as well. I like it because it's like animals that you see in movies or videos and we actually have them like here in our community that we can go and see them. Let's go in and check it out. So today with David and Allie, we are going to experience Duluth's wild side. They're going to see the zoo from a little bit behind the scenes and just all the animals and everything we have to offer here at the zoo. Let's go pet a goat. Okay, David, you want to brush a goat? Yeah. Why not? So they like dogs, like it's best to let them sniff you first. He's so skeptical of us. Well, buddy. Yeah, you're doing all right. David, these are adults. These are adults? Yeah, they're dwarf goats. The animals are always doing something different every single day, so you can expect really anything when you come here. Look at the shave job on those legs. You know, shave him and then leave his kneecaps down. Well, it's got to feel so good for him. Yeah. So it's just getting to experience moments with animals that you wouldn't on a daily basis. Oh, hi there. Looks like an accountant. Is that his teeth in front? Yeah. Thank you, you too. These animals are all ambassadors. Our ring-tailed lemurs, they're endangered because of the deforestation and the changing of the climate. And if we can just make one little change in our everyday lives, it can make a difference for every animal and every human on the planet. Angolan colobus? Yeah. Colobus. He's not, he doesn't care. He's no. occupied by That's his bark. Hearing. See, I don't know why, but I'm much more comfortable with the primates than I am like a snake. Could be the fur. Makes Maybe, you think it's soft and like, like yeah. welcoming? They're good swimmers. That'd be different having that thing swimming at you while you're in the lake. Well, and like the skin kind of like hanging a little bit more. Oh. Maybe you've got to call it by its name, David, and then it'll call you back. Kookaburra? I'm going to start mispronouncing them or just making up yeah. names and see how many make it through. Brush-tailed batong, they rarely, if ever, drink water or eat. We take in a lot of rescues if they are have an injured wing and they can't fly or if it's an animal like our hedgehogs have been donated where people just can't take care of them anymore. Parrots, the same thing. We're providing these close-up experiences where it makes people want to care and be compassionate and you feel even closer to the animal. Our big cats are obviously one of our biggest draws. We have our snow leopard, Kirin, our lynx is Felix. We have the three lions, Leo, Malkia, and Lily. When you're about six feet away from a 450 pound male lion eating his dinner, and you look into his eyes, you feel really humbled as a human being and say, you know, these animals are so important to the world and learning more about their habitat and their daily life makes that difference. Let's go check out the tiger. I really have connected with Lana, our Amher Tiger. And this is cleaned, I will say, every day. Okay. She does this herself. This is every how day. she comes up and paws and gets interactive. Oh, there she comes. Hi. As an association of zoos and aquariums accredited zoo, we have to uphold the highest standard of animal care and welfare management for animals, whether it's the nutrition, the health care, the management of the species with the species survival program, as well as their exhibit. And to be accredited, we have to go through a really grueling process, which includes an application, an on-site visit, and meeting with the directors who are the board that just make those decisions. A lot of children come here and see a tiger or a lion or even a guinea pig for the first time. And that first time experience then translates to a meaningful connection to nature and wildlife for the rest of their life. But there are adults who have never seen a tiger or a black crested mangabe because there's only 32 of them in North America and four of them are right here in Duluth, Minnesota. So the importance of a zoo and aquarium in today's world is just to continue perpetuating that message that we as humans need to care for these animals and we can help the visitors make a connection with those animals and once they feel that connection they feel more inclined to take action towards taking care of their environment in our region and across the globe.